Hello readers, this is Miss Erin. Today we are learning how you can use clues in the text to gain meaning of non-literal phrases. First I want to talk about what the word literal means and how we're going to use that definition and actually the opposite of that definition to help us with the passage that we're going to read. So literal means done word for word, exact, a literal translation. Now I have some examples at the bottom of the page in blue and we're going to talk about what they mean. Have you ever heard somebody say shake a leg? Do you think they mean that literally? Do you think they mean that word for word or do you think they might mean hurry up? So if somebody says to you I'm ready to go shake a leg that means they're ready to go and they don't want to wait for you so they want you to hurry up. What about this one? Cat got your tongue? Has anybody ever said that to you? Do you think that they really think the cat has taken your tongue out of your mouth? Or maybe they're asking you why are you so quiet? And what about this last one? He has cold feet. So if somebody says he has cold feet, it doesn't necessarily mean that their feet, the person's feet, are actually cold. It means that they are feeling um, nervous or not quite sure about what they have to do next. So you might hear it and somebody saying he has to give his speech in front of the class but he has cold feet. It means that he's nervous about giving his speech. So when we talk about literal language and non-literal phrases that's the kind of thing that we mean that we don't necessarily um, look for an exact translation or an exact um, interpretation of these words shake a leg, cat got your tongue, cold feet but we're, it's an expression to help bring interest to a story. So let's read this passage and we're going to see if we can figure out what this non-literal phrase raining cats and dogs see if we can figure out what that means. I'll read it and you read along with me. It's raining cats and dogs, Mom shouted. I went running to the window. I really wanted to see the cats and dogs falling from the sky. Puppies and kittens were my favorite. When I looked out the window, all I saw was rain puddles, and it was raining so hard I almost couldn't see that. No fluffy kittens, no playful puppies, just a soggy front yard. What kind of a trick was my mother trying to play on me? So we've already decided that it really can't rain cats and dogs. Cats and dogs don't fall from the sky. But we also know that the narrator said it was raining so hard that I almost couldn't see. So when someone says it's raining cats and dogs, they're actually saying it was raining so hard. So that's an example of non-literal phrase in a passage of text. It reminds me of a book that I read called Amelia Bedelia and the Cat. And someone said to Amelia Bedelia, it's raining cats and dogs. And this was what she started thinking about, is that these cats and dogs were falling from the sky. And really, you don't need anything other than an umbrella if you're outside and it's raining cats and dogs. So let's answer some questions. Good readers use other words in a passage to help them figure out what a non-literal phrase means. Is that true or false? That is true. We just did that. How about this? Think about the passage we read talking about very heavy rain. If I said, I can hardly see through these sheets of rain, what do you think I am really trying to say? That there are bed sheets outside with pictures of raindrops on them? Someone has covered a window with sheets of paper so I can't see through it? It's raining so hard I can't see very far? Or none of the above? If you said C, you were correct. Way to go, readers! You can identify when words are used in a non-literal way to convey meaning in an interesting way. 